Uh, let's say uh, hi to uh, Ian uh, Halperin. Uh, Ian? Uh-oh. Yes. yes, gentlemen. Who better to talk about than hockey than Ian, His Highness Halperin, the man who played against Mario Lemieux when he grew up, the man <laughs> from Canada. And I'll tell you one thing. Right now, Slovakia might be going all the way. They have a goaltender who plays for the Montreal Canadiens named Halleck in goal. He's the newest. He's, he's like Vladislav Tratiak. He looks like Dominic Hasek. You guys, I'm telling you right now, U.S. is going down to Finland. Oh, and I'm going to be very happy because Finland has the hottest women in the tournament in the stands. Just stop. And what, what, what do you mean? USA. Yeah, what do you know about sports that I don't? Listen, I just know USA knows how to bring it. Yeah, we already beat yeah. you at your own fucking game, yes. Ian. We, we and and stop being confidence. such a pussy. Don't you want... You don't want your, don't, why, why would you want the easy game for the gold? Why wouldn't you want ah, exactly. fucking US of USA a to show the world that it was a fluke the first time around? What's wrong with you? who is going to make you guys look like fools. Saku Koivu played for the Montreal Canadiens. He's the leader of Finland. He has heart and soul, unlike the uh, U.S. Unlike the USA? I'm, I'm telling you right now, Finland is going to destroy them, and Slovakia, watch out. Yeah. Slovakia. Yeah, I, I played Lemieux. Google that one. I Google that. Mario Lemieux when you... I grew up. He once beat us thirteen to one. He scored scored all thirteen goals against us. How did he you? Was... Oh, oh. So you didn't do very well, did well, you? Well, His Highness scored the one goal for our team. Oh, you but, did. You know, if I wouldn't be doing your radio show, I might st I might be playing in that tournament today. Oh, right. Exactly. <laughs> Anthony, um, breaking news. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, breaking, breaking news. news. Hold on there, uh, Ian. Yes. Howard Stern just announced that he. He invented the bold pussy, so we can't uh, oh, take God. much credit for that one either. Yeesh. Well, thank God then. Yeah, we we praise uh, him for, for inventing that. Thank you. Uh, Harry Pussy's like trying to take the prize out of a full box of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> and God no, damn, is that good? And no credit because the the guy fucking Facebooked that from his phone. Put a little name on uh, these things so you get a little credit. Ian, fuck you, fuck your fucking country, and fuck uh, <laughs> come on, and you fuck Canadian me, hockey. Uh, you know, I wrote a poem for Anthony. All uh, right, let's yeah. hear it. You want to hear it? I'm um, sure. What's your obsession with Anthony, by the way? It's getting a little I weird. I Anthony's <laughs> dynamite. I love the guy. All right, it's a little but, weird. You know, I, I wrote a poem for him. Uh, All right. See. It's Anthony, his love for his highness like honey. No Cleopatra, ugly as a mud fence, toilet sounds like a foghorn. His love for his highness like a money, so pungent. His jealousy like an onion. Face and feet ugly as Coella de Vil. His personality and head bald as a bandicoot. Loose ass needs to do some squats and lunges. I still love Anthony. His love for his highness like honey. Insecure, defensive, Viagra vibe. Shaken baby syndrome way back when. Balls look like butternut squash soup. Shakespeare sonnets. No Cleopatra. Rattled by the rush. Anthony, his love for his highness like honey. How's that, guys? That sounds like you wrote that for someone else. <laughs> yeah, because it really doesn't fit me. All of the oh, things come on. you were it saying. Fits you like a glove, dude. It no, fits, you know. How do you? What do you think if I need? You were in that courtroom. You couldn't have worn it. You know what? Hold on. You think I need? You think I need Viagra? Well, I, hey, dude. I, you know, it, it seems like you've been in a rut, dude. It a seems, rut? There's so much testosterone <laughs> a rut? coming out of your nostrils, even. You know, it seems like you need a weekend in Canada, dude, just to be shaken up. You ain't getting it in the U.S. What the hell is wrong with you? That was, first of all, that dude, was so gay. That was so dude. fucking gay. You completely sounded like you want my fucking cock, is oh, what dude. that poem was all about. Oh, I'm supposed to, Is that your fantasy that I'm <laughs> worshipping you? Is that your fucking fantasy, you Canuck? Hunt, that I worship, oh, that I dude, fucking dude, worship you. On, you know what I'll do? Just to show you I don't need Viagra, I'll bukkake your big stupid dice sunglasses, you fuck. Oh, you fucking, that, you, you jealousy, whatever jealous, jealous of, of what? Regard. Jealous of what? Someone that comes from a second rate fucking country that we defend so you can fucking sit there uh, and, and have your uh, uh, premier, prime minister, president, whatever it is, come here for health care. You live in a shithole. You're full of crap. You uh, why don't you go try to make another dime off of Jackson's rotting body, you lying sack of cock? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go to the Michael Jackson ATM. Try to pull some money out of his rotting fucking asshole. Go ahead. You know, fucking full of shit. Because I know everything. Uh, Google it. Google it. 
Shut up. Play the saxophone with your bunghole, you homo. I'll play the Go saxophone fuck yourself. With one hand, dude. Go fuck your mother. When are we going to hear this saxophone of yours? I'm yeah, gonna exactly. Ah, uh, yeah, we've been hearing that for a month. Yeah. No, when I'm back You're all talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm bringing a chick to give Anthony a lap dance because he needs it badly. Man, the guy's frustrated. Frustrated? You know, he's a jealous <laughs> man, You know something? I, I duh, duh, you're, you're absolutely talking about yourself. I I know Dude, that you, you probably have number one. I'm number one you probably time. have quite a lot of trouble uh, attracting the attention of females. I have to say you probably have quite a bit of trouble. Right now, your rap sucks. Radio and you're just jealous. Your your rap really sucks. I, I'm sure any woman that would sit across from you would know in three seconds you're full of shit. Full of yourself. Uh, you know, All you're like, doing is talking. I the pomposity like the that pours the out of your gullet you is such crap. Is, is such crap. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I'm, dude. You ain't getting it, dude. You're jealous because His Highness is getting it. His uh -huh. Highness. <laughs> Who's His Highness? You, you're trying to. Are you trying to give yourself a fucking name? Anyone called you sexy. Are you trying to what? When was the last time anyone called you sexy? I I I've been called that. Believe me, I don't have to. I don't have to when fucking prove. Time? I don't. You think I gotta prove myself to you Absolutely. to the likes of fucking you? Absolutely. When was the last time you were called anything but a lying sack of shit asshole, <laughs> pompous, <laughs> self-centered <laughs> cunt? Uh, 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 riddle me that, asswipe. Riddle me that. When was the last time someone called you Dice, by the way? How many times a day are you called uh, Dice? Hey, Dice, where you been, Dice? Don't insult Dice. You, lo you fucking look like a, 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 you look like a homo Dice. You look like Dice right after, if Dice sucked cock, it would be Ian Halperin. That's what you look like. Go fucking open Michael Jackson's casket and see if a dime is in his pocket. You fucking, you fucking grave robber. Go ahead, grave robber. Go ahead, grave robber. Snap off his fucking rotting nose and sell it. Write a story about it. Write an exclusive about his fucking nose that you snap off. Shut it. No truth Shut up. You're jealous, dude. You lie about you everything. Put your oh, yeah. Brad Pitt and Angelina dude. Jolie are still together. <laughs> They're still together. Yeah, oh, if they like break up in 10 years, you'll be still. I told you. Google it. Google it. I said it 10 years ago. Shut up. You oh, fucking, on, there's not, you got nothing. Look, look, I want to you have you. nothing. I want nothing. So Tiger cold. Woods, Tiger Woods. And we're gonna see what was this Tiger Woods promise? I, I don't. What, what was your Tiger Woods promise? Uh, Ian, that, promise that hasn't come true. It, when he tells a statement, he's gonna fucking uh, bring out one of his whores and say he's uh, leaving with her. Uh, yeah, what yeah, is it? What's it, like? What's your latest line of shit? Yeah, you know something, Anthony. Yes, sir. I haven't seen you win many awards for your journalistic endeavors. What? Did, what award do you have? <laughs> I what fucking award, award do you have? I have an air award. <laughs> I have a fucking air award for excellence in broadcasting. I have I have awards that I have won for my production skills. Radio and records. You know, Radio and was records a was a big what one. Yeah. How about I have broadcasting awards that yeah. were given to me by Charles Corral, motherfucker? Oh yeah, Charles Corral. Big deal, dude. Big you know, fucking deal. Is, what award do you have? The what fucking award? Canadian bullshit award? Is that the one you have? Yeah, the man. the Canuck can't fucking tell the truth if his balls were in a vice award? Dude, I haven't seen you write many number one bestsellers. Okay? Yeah, and, and, what, and what have you written? Yeah, well, you know, my Michael Jackson book. Oh, you know, again, yeah, 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 go off of that one. Go off of that book? one. Dude, have you read uh, my, my Michael Jackson book, Michael Jackson book, Michael Jackson book. You're like Kevin Meany with you know, the real, the, the world stuff fucking bit. Covering Jackson the last two years. Everyone oh yeah, no him. one talked about Michael Jackson <laughs> and the pedophilia and the fucking how he looked and what he was oh, yeah. doing. And, uh, no one talked about it. Wow, you're a fucking pioneer. You're a regular pioneer, Ian. Holy shit. accused of child molestation. You're just jealous, dude. You're jealous. Yeah, that's what I am. You once wanted to, you envisioned yourself doing a moonwalk on stage. Yeah, Tiger Woods sex tape. Yeah, what about the Tiger Woods sex tape? Where is that? All that you're getting is a bunch of... You heard, you heard the Tiger Woods sex tape. What happened to that? Where's the audio? Come on. Is merch? I never gave you a timeline. I said... Ah, all right, of course. You never gave me a timeline. 
Tiger, um, what I'm saying is... Maybe, maybe things only come out after people are dead. we got to wait until, until uh, uh, Tiger Woods uh, uh, dies, so then you could capitalize on it. Look, it took... How you fucking grave robber. You know, Go dig someone up and pull their gold teeth out, you grave robbing motherfucker. Shut it. Don't call me a motherfucker, dude. You are. In that studio, dude. You are. Chicks. So oh, hot, chicks. Drool, yeah, right, like your saxophone. Your yeah, imaginary you chicks like your saxophone and that you played met with Mario Lemieux. Shut up. Uh, uh, more lies. Holy you, you shit. That one? Google it, dude. I have never put, I'll Google it. Yeah, Google that one. I'll Google lying piece of shit from Canada and watch your face come up. Dude, right That's what I'll do. Every Canadian listening to this show takes offense because they know my brand. And I'll tell you one thing. Your I brand? I guys up in Canada, but they're not impressed with all this. Oh, no. When was the last time you were in Canada, dude? I don't fucking... I don't even remember. Why would I care? And that's why you're so fucking frustrated because you can't get laid. And Canada is the only country to get laid in? Canada has the hottest women, dude. Are you... Are you... The first night you go out with them, you know, it's a happy ending. It's oh, is it? Yeah, what, you know, where, where do you where do you get your roofies? Where do you get your roofies? How much does that cost? That's the only fucking way you're getting laid, is if she's sitting there vomiting on the edge of a bed. Uh, I think we had a good night. We have a good night. Could you please not report me? She's always born with love. Oh, is that it? Ian, jealousy. But it doesn't always die. Ian, I, 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 Ian, I have to agree with you. I think what? Uh, <laughs> I think you've really hit on it. What? What? <laughs> Jesus. And silence is virtue. Uh, <laughs> after Googling Ian and Mario, uh, uh, it, it just says you're both from Montreal. Wow. Wow. You are ju just uh, fucking blood Mario brothers. Mario from Villamar. He played for the Villamar Hurricanes. Oh, good. Wow. He How about that? To one. Isn't that something? And I was the only guy to score a goal against this team. Oh, uh, uh, were you? <laughs> you know, let's go skating. When I come to New York, let's go to Rockefeller. What do you call that? Yeah, that's, that's good. We'll hold hands in your fantasy. In your God fucking God. fantasy, we'll hold hands <laughs> and have a, a romantic comedy moment, you fucking sap. Don't forget about the hot cocoa. Get afterwards. out of here. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to do? Phil Nicolini in the middle of us both. Oh, oh, there you go. Here he goes. It's the only thing he could ever try to bring up. That was that was oh, oh, well over uh, uh, like a year and a half ago. You know, let's let's get Nicolini on the phone and find out. You know, is that all you can fucking talk about? Well, is that the last? The is that the last time you were ever even near a fucking woman, dude? It, was that it? Is that your fond fucking memory of of a woman? Dude. How about something new? When was the last time you were even laid? Last night. Oh, last night. Yeah, cute. I bet. What was his I name? I bet. <laughs> What yeah, exactly. Name? I bet. What was her name? Quick. What was her name? I don't. I don't kiss and tell. Uh, it's, <laughs> not, it's not a kiss and tell. It's what was her fucking name? Dude, Could have said anything. I'm Karen. Fucking Gloria. What? Anything. It's you not a kiss and tell. Guy. It was. You know what? You couldn't come up with a fucking name because there was no girl. Dude, there was no waste, girl. Never waste jealousy on a real. Your man. girl. Your girl is the fucking same hand you write that trash with. That you was know? your girl last night. You put down your fucking pen and picked up your little fucking dude, excuse for a dick a and jerked it off. Jealousy is nothing more than a fear of abandonment, dude. A fear and of you, abandonment? Well, I have, have I have fucking, I have friends, I have so family, you know, things that you know nothing about. Uh, uh, sincerity. You're just full of shit, Egan. Hey, man, you'd love to be as full of shit as me, dude, and you, you know. That's so what I, I, wow, you good one. Oh, you got me. And you wouldn't be so models frustrated. You never got near that fucking shampoo model, by the way. I never have. fucking got near really? her. I, I got to bring her on the line next. Week. Oh yeah, bring her on the line. So yeah. Next like when, when does the when woman, does the restraining right? order expire so yeah. you could fucking uh, Ian, stalk her? You would have liked to go out with that Pantene woman. I, yeah, well, Ian, enough enough, uh, enough yeah, with the I next would've. time. You jacked off after I told you you were fantasizing. Here he goes again. Boy, do you love me? Are you in love with me? Yeah, Are you yeah. in fucking love with me? Yeah, I love you, dude. That's all you do is talk about hot. me and my sexual fucking exploits. You're not hot. You're not my type, but I'm definitely in love with you, dude. We're gonna we're gonna get to know each other really well. Ugh, Ian, you disgust me in every way. Oh man, the jealousy would be far less torturous, babe. Is is if that? You wouldn't it? have this. 
you know, undying passion for me. Yeah. He's saying that you love him, man. You know, that's oh, oh, is that it? Yeah, that's what he's saying. You know how many he times I think about him, Ian? He's after his highness, man. Here's, here's, oh, here's yeah, his highness. I forgot. Here's the it's only Ian, times I'm highness. even thinking about Ian Halperin. Okay. Sometimes when he's on the fucking phone on this show. Because a lot of times I'm just Twittering and, and texting uh, uh, girls and, and my <laughs> friends and my family. You know, things you know nothing of. Man, hey. Good for wow, you. Wow, you, wow. You're, so you're so quick. You're so quick witted. You Holy you're shit. You're getting laid, man. You're taking it out on me. And then yeah, I'm taking it out. Yeah. You're taking it out on me. And why are you taking it out on him? Why you are you know? taking it out on the highness? I don't know. Maybe we got off on the wrong foot. Google me and Jill, Jill Nicolini. Right. Yeah? Google it. Let's yeah, see I'm if sure anything pops be, I'm sure that there's probably going to be a picture of me and Jill. Because anytime you Google me or, or Jill, that's what comes up. Did she lick your crack? Go to, go to, <laughs> did she? Go to uh, images. And he asked you a question. What? I don't kiss and tell. I don't kiss and tell. There's not one picture of of you and Jill Nicolini. When you put yeah, both names, not that's one because fucking. Because I don't kiss and tell, but get Nicolini on. No, the phone there's not right one now. picture on Google Images. Now put in Anthony Cumia. Yeah, because dude, yeah, I don't because even what? know if he banged her. Because he what? Bang my leftovers, but you know he'll promote it yeah. to the world. I yeah, see, first, first picture that comes up. First picture that comes up. Because I could back, I could back uh, my my statements up. Let's Not like you. I don't know phone. what a docking Let's picture is doing up said. there. Let's see. I want to. I want to know from Nicolini who's who's more well hung, His Highness or Anthony. See, because again, you want to fantasize about my cock. Now you are a disgusting, Dude, cock, fucking, uh, uh, closeted mo. You're a mo. Oh yeah. Yeah. You, you really think so, right? Yeah, I really do. With yeah. your flamboyant fucking yeah. notice me glasses. Get the fuck out of here, jealous, you attention dude. whore. Dude, you're, you're an attention whore. Right now, you know that I got the sexiest voice in radio right now. <laughs> you know I'm a threat. And that's why a I'm threat? not going to drive me crazy when a you know, threat you know to I, I, what? I'm walking distance over there. A threat to what? <laughs> Holy shit. You know, you're taking my leftovers, dude. Leftover, there's nothing you that know, proves anything. I'd watch myself. You probably, not, you probably, I'm get, you know something? You are probably fucking gunning for a lawsuit. You're gunning for a lawsuit for bullshitting about that from, uh, uh from Jill. Because, uh, there's no, uh, uh, no proof whatsoever to what you're saying. Oh, yeah, well, I have witnesses because it was a threesome with Jill. So uh, yeah, oh, Did really? Did you ever do a threesome with Jill? Who was the guy? <laughs> no, it was actually a, a nice what was it? Your nuts laying on your it face while he did the real day. work, while he dude, did the real job. Guys, what did you threes. fucking? F did you I suck? Did you booyah his threes. balls? Did you booyah his I balls in your mouth? mouth? Is that what you did? You booyahed his balls while he did all the work. Jeez. Thinking Don't you see. were thinking it was a threesome. <laughs> it was a twosome with a, a obnoxious <laughs> interruption. Yeah. Did he Don't come on your glasses? You think you uh, come on my glasses. Come on my glasses. Uh, Bukaki, uh, Giggly. <laughs> you know, even your listeners. You oh, God. Your listeners, Shut up. I'm looking at beautiful tits. Anthony I'm looking at beautiful highness, tits right now from a girl that's showing me her beautiful breasts on, on Pal Talk. Enough out of you. My God. Hey, man, he's called the Highness. What are you called, Anthony? <laughs> the Highness. That's yeah, his name. Ian Halpern yeah. and his Highness. Oh, shut up, His Highness. Have you seen my movie, His Highness Hollywood? Maybe you should see it, dude. All oh, really? All these beautiful chicks foaming over me. Just salivating oh, is that over it? me. Did you, did you edit out the part where you fucking dole out the dollars to him afterwards? Yeah, uh, of course. <laughs> it's the only way you're getting fucking chicks. Yeah, I, I don't pay to play. Dude. How much money do you <laughs> spend on fucking prostitutes? Man. How much money That's do you spend to get to laid? You up to Canada so sitting you can there, get laid without paying that lonely pay. fucking ass just sitting there going, uh, uh, yeah, send one over. Yeah, yeah, let me see. Make sure she's hot. Uh. Dude, that's what you probably do every night. That's oh wow, another good one. Is going, another yeah, good you're one. Making millions wow. doing this show probably, but you're probably broke because you've supported, you know, the uh, Ashley Dupre's of the world. Uh, Ian's movie, His Highness, by the way, <laughs> Amazon.com sales rank, 128. 
1,598. It's ranked 128,598 in movie and TV. You ass cunt. I don't even think there's been that many movies made. Go to your trailer. I don't know where you live. You fuck. Is there what, what, what films have you done recently, brother? Oh, that's going to hurt it. I'm not in that's the film industry, asshole. I know my limitations. You don't seem to. You don't seem to. That's why you're fucking in radio, and that's why His Highness is on the fucking big screen. Oh, yeah, because I'm sure, you know, you're just gorgeous. I'm sure girls just look at you and fucking go, Let's, oh, my God, what a guy. Could we at least Anthony, Anthony is You're the guy that said, like you, Cleopatra, you're the guy that man. said uh, fucking uh, Brad Pitt isn't attractive. Dude, because maybe you st you're the only motherfucker still fantasizing about Pitt. No, I'm not fantasizing about him, but I, I'm a realist in the fact ago. that girls do seem to like the guy, uh, and Ooh, not listen, and not Angie you. Jolie, huh? Angie Jolie seems to be the only Angie one. Jolie. Like, could you not oh, fucking fuck use? Back. Could you like not I use said, names like you exactly know these like people? Angie book, Jolie. Dude. Angie Jolie, could you not make it sound like you know these fucking people? How do you know I don't know Angie well, you, Jolie? You were probably one of, the, uh, one of these that used to say Chuck Heston. Yeah, Chuck Angie Heston, Jolie, yeah. shut up. Oh, uh, come on, Chuck Heston. Dude, you're, you're a still sack. Fantasizing about him? Yeah, that's what I'm doing, You know, Moses is, you know, the, you should read the Ten Commandments, brother. Should I? Absolutely. Should I? Mean, I? I? I think, and I'm speaking on, on behalf of everybody, everyone part of the tribe listening to this show. The tribe. That Anthony should convert. Oh, really? Yeah. You I should go over to Judaism? You are going if you're a representative of Jews, if you're a representative of Jews, right I don't even want to say what is in, on my mind. If you are a representative of Jewish people, don't make me even say it. Dude, because I think man. everyone knows what I would say. Everyone knows what I would say. Ten more years of bad luck. I'm cold. 88! You know what a cold is? <laughs> <laughs> the Jews. 14 <laughs> words! And right now, you should bow down your motherfucking ass to the king of the Jews, his highness Halpern. You're king and of you're the Jews? you're insulting me. But when Jesus. you insult me, you're insulting every motherfucking what? Jew out there. Oh, and, you know, fuck. And then I'm going to have to phone my good friend shut it. Small, the head of the anti-Semitism. Oh, Jewish shut Jewish up. Where's Pontius Pilate when we need him? And I don't want to put <laughs> Crucify you, you too. Shut up. You. But you're spewing anti-Semitic sentiment. Yeah, that's you. what I'm doing. You hate all the Jews? No, I said if you're a representative of Jews, then Cohen. then uh, don't Cohen? don't make me say it, Dude, is what I'm saying. Do you know what fucking Cohen is? What? Do you know what a Cohen is? Uh, Google what? a Cohen, dude. En enlighten me. And yeah, me with I'm a your... king. When I go to synagogue, people actually, when they find out I'm a cone, they bow down to me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what does that mean? There's Shut very up. few of us left. We're the kings. There's different uh, yeah. Yeah. people in the Jewish um, religion. There's Cohen's. Yeah. There's Le Levi's. Levi's. That's... I'm a I got Levi's. Cohen dude. Yeah, You're Levi's. a what is <laughs> what is uh, uh what does douche synagogue. mean in uh, Hebrew? What you is know. douche? Yeah, douche. Because that's that's yeah, all I'm getting out of you. Man. And one thing I'll tell you, you know, it, it, you, you know, know, jealousy will just, you know, everyone's jealous. Yeah, there is a little jealousy coming from you. Is it, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little. is that what you're saying? A little bit. Yeah, jealousy. You're talking to the king of Jews. I mean, right. be yeah, I know a Cohen, right? Please. Right, uh, Cohen. Okay, Cohen. I like the Cohen brothers. Is that the same thing? Hey, the Cohen brothers are good, man. You know, I respect that. What's the, what's the synopsis oh, on his that. movie that's uh, 128,598 on Amazon? Have, have there been that many mo movies made in no, the history no, of filmmaking? No, I'm sure not, not. No? He's off the fucking chart. You're out of bounds. Hey, dude, you're fucking, your fucking book is out of bounds, or your movie is out of bounds as far as uh, even being rated. What movie's hey, just above him that uh, is so better? Wait, we're, we're, we're going to read the synopsis of your movie. Shut up for a second. See the reviews of my film. His Can you read that, oh, Sam? Yeah. I wonder who reviewed it. Sam's going to read the synopsis of your big movie. A new film from Super Dupa Productions. <laughs> Super Dupa? Yeah. That's just like Warner Brothers. Yeah, exactly. His Highness Hollywood is a rollicking, irreverent, and controversial look behind the scenes of Hollywood. 
posing undercover as a gay actor who what, was. What a... posing were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Did that come easy to you, Ian? Yeah. What a stretch. Wow. Gay. A, a gay actor who is a member of the so called Israeli royal family, filmmaker Ian Halperin. Who is in... that? I know we have Ian Halperin, but who's filmmaker That's Ian Halperin? Question. Ian Halperin infiltrates the world of headshots, auditions, fame, and ruin. But in true Hollywood form, something unexpected happens. Oh, really? He actually makes a point? <laughs> he infiltrates the Church of Scientology, oh. who promise him a cure for his alleged homosexuality. Alleged. I'm glad they put in alleged. <laughs> and in the process of exposing the secrets of the world's most, con most coveted trade, he meets up with numerous A-listers, including uh -huh. Brad Pitt, yeah. Jay Leno, Leonardo DiCaprio, Bill Paxton, Ron Jeremy, and Sigourney Weaver, mm. who are most eager to give him the inside track on what life is really like in Tinseltown. Oh, wow. Again, it's w ranked 128,598. And, and when that said, somebody's uh, looking at the rest of the list. Howard the Duck outranked Ian's movie by about 100,000. Yeah. So when you That's... were undercover, how many cocks did you actually take uh, exactly. undercover? Look, I'll tell you one thing. Hey, no, it's not gay if it's undercover. <laughs> it's not gay. <laughs> Google it. Google it. Google shoot, shoot, shoot my ass. Shoot my ass. Go ahead. It's not gay. I'm undercover. What? There's two cocks that have left an imprint in Hollywood over the years. Errol Flynn. And his highness. And and we're talking to his Yeah, highness. what did you yeah. dock so this, with him? This is a very dude, I'm getting a star on the walk of fame there. Yeah, this is a very special thing. Oh my thing. god. This and is a special thing. You'll be there, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'll be there. Oh yeah, you'll be there, dude. A star, you know, are you a star on the walk of fame? You the, the day you get a star on the walk of fame, uh I, I can't even think of, of something so horrible to even bring up that I would do or say or or anything. Uh, you uh, you are never. Why would you ever uh, get one? What have you contributed star, that you that? It's that, actually in the film. If you watch the film, you'll see me in the in the Hollywood uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce, and they're doing my application. Annoying the them. And let, let me tell you. Oh, something. an application. Yeah, that's good. Will tell us right now. Meanwhile, you need a shitload of people. The walk of fame first. You need a shitload. You need a shitload of people to actually vote you. Uh, in to get a star. They have to back you. 25,000 cash. And let me tell you, I will get my... Oh, 25,000 cash? You better sell a few more of those piece of shit ranked <laughs> 129,000 uh, movies. You're going to pay for it because you're you're the biggest skeptic. But when they say all I need is the cash, I'm going to come to you for the loan. Oh, is that it? Yeah, good yeah, luck with that. Because you, know, you got to put your money somewhere what, else you... besides, you know, demented... Uh, uh, misinformed hookers. I'll tell you what, Ian. Uh, uh, that's a good idea. I'll lend you the money. Um, come to my house at night. I'll leave the door open, uh, and you just walk in. The lights might be off, but uh, don't worry. You'll uh, you'll see a flash, uh, and then you won't see anything. <laughs> just walk right in. Uh, I'll be there, dude. Okay, no I'll problem. Be there with Jill Nicolina. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> here again. goes. He just he's can't obsessed leave it with Jill. He is so. I obsessed. think there's a jealousy there. I don't think she's he ever so got fucking. Jill. You know what happened? Yeah. Yeah. She's so fucking just like didn't even acknowledge he existed. <laughs> right. He finds out I was with her for like the entire summer, and you are completely jealous of that fact. Why don't you let him smell your balls? Uh, well, uh, well, let's get Nicolini on the phone, dude. You want to smell uh, Anthony's balls? Let's get Nicolini on the phone. Get her on the phone. Her phone. Her on the phone get her on the her phone. Loves me. I don't know if her mother loves you, dude. Get her on the phone. I don't give a shit if her mother loved me. Dude, you're a skank. Care. She brought you home. Her mother fucking flipped out. You almost put her into cardiac arrest. She almost had Oh, to really? You know yeah. Thing? Yeah, you were there. Is this another exclusive piece of bullshit that you're going to write down somewhere? You know Stop. It's true. You know it's true. It, oh, really? Admit it. Admit it. She thought Ad, you were Admit a it. Admit it. Come on. A skank? Stand up, Anthony. She wasn't too thrilled when you walked through the door. Guys are dirtbags. Girls are skanks. What are you fucking talking You're about? You're a skank. No, I'm a dirtbag. You're a skank. <laughs> You're a skank. <laughs> now I'm throwing his insults back at him. Nya, 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 nya. You'll get your callers on the line. Who would they rather sleep with, His Highness or Anthony? Oh Christ! All right. our callers, the they're all men. All our callers all, are men. Yeah, man. So I show. think I guess you win. All right, all right, we'll put some guys on. Mark in Canada. I want Mark to hear from Chick. Mark, Not guys, guys will want to sleep with Anthony. Oh, is that it? Mark, 
I, I would like this idiot to shut up because every time he talks, their fucking dollar is dropping. He's a fucking retard. This is a Canadian, I, by the way. I am from Canada. I've never even heard of this piece of shit. <laughs> fucking Ian. And, and if he, yeah, Ian. If he is a representative of the Jews, please put him in the burner. Yeah, uh, Ian, if you're, yeah, there you go. There if, you if go, you're a big dude. Canadian, why weren't you at the opening ceremonies for the Olympics? Maybe, you know. I'm not going to sing that anthem. You want to hear me sing the anthem? I, that woman who sang it, Nikki Yanofsky, it was a big disaster. Yeah. And I'll tell you one thing. There was a guy who used to sing the anthem. Uh, his name was the late, great Roger Doucette. Him and Kate Smith were the only two people who ever got the anthems properly at sporting events. The gayness that is coming out of your fucking well, maw right hear, now. Let's hear his version, Kate though, Anthony. Smith. Let's hear your version, Ian. Yeah, go uh, ahead. It's so early in the morning. I'll give it to you here. I'll give you a few bars, okay? All uh, right, uh, here we yeah. go. I'm like borrowing. Oh, Canada, <laughs> How's that? Keep going. <laughs> Oh, well, what about the high part? Yeah, yeah, you didn't get to the high part. Well, you can tell by the way I do my walk. How's that? He's fucking you're, singing. You're out of your, now he's singing Bee Gees. Fucking five in the morning here. You're out of your fucking you. mind. Finish uh, finish the anthem, man. Let's go. Oh, dude, it's too early for me. But you, yeah, you yeah. got ah, yeah, it. It definitely is. That's what the listeners are saying. Yeah. Let's say oh, hi to early for you. I come into your studio with Jill Nicolini sitting on your face. Let's say hi to oh, Nick in what? Canada. Nick. Hey, I've been a promoter for about 15 years in London, Ontario, which is only about six hours from Montreal, and I have never heard of this guy. There's another one that's never heard of you. Hey, dude, I'm not, uh, this ain't a popularity contest. Oh, I'm oh really? Callers who they'd rather sleep with. You're the king. His What's the matter? I thought you were the fucking king. I'm not running for real life. I thought you were the Cohen. What happened? No one knows you. Dude, let's no one knows you. No one knows your work. Yeah, we got no one All right, cares. Listen, listen, we got Ian Halpern on the other line. Ian Halpern. I Ian. Yeah. We didn't know how to do the bit. Jesus Christ, yeah. Kent. Stop I... listening to your fucking radio. No, what an ass. Uh, let's go to Chris in Ontario. Chris, you're on with Ian Halperin. His hi his, his Royal Highness or his or his Heine. Uh, what do you call yourself? His Heine ass. Chris, go ahead. Shut up, Ian. I just want to let you guys know this guy does not fucking represent us. Please yeah. don't think that he's See? anything like the rest Canadians of us. Canadians hate you. Yeah, they hate you. They Ian. hate hey, look, you. Americans hate, hate you more. Look, you know, all the greats are hated at the beginning, and then they all come around. Look they, at Howard Stern. Everyone hated him at the beginning. Oh, the yeah. making, yeah. what, $110 million a year? Let's say, let's yeah. say yeah. I'm a bird man. I don't mind. Again with this jerk off. Again. <laughs> I know. I got a call. Every time I got a call, this jerk off has got to be on the phone. Are you talking to Birdman, Ian? Hey, Birdman. Ian. Birdman, uh, Birdman, 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 you know, I'm a much better looking guy than uh, Anthony, but Opie, I always... All right, not that... See, again, it's this, this fucking yeah. homoerotic yeah, fucking talk. It's always about, like, uh, 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 your sexual prowess and well, dude, what guy is hot. All your fucking listeners seem to be men. Where's the women? I haven't heard one woman call since I've been on this show. You guys... Are exactly. Gay. Exactly. Do you understand that? Since you've called, not one woman calls. You
Oh, yeah, that's that's what's going to what's gonna happen. Oh, okay, wait a minute. This guy yeah, has yeah. got some, uh, he's going to explain Cohen. Seth in Virginia. Seth, <laughs> Seth, turn off your fucking radio Seth, thingy and talk. We got a lot of new listeners, and they just don't understand how this fucking thing works. Oh, Seth. sorry about that. Seth, I go ahead. My office. Let her rip. Uh, I just wanted to let him know that it, Cohen is a last name. Cohane is what you claim to be. Uh, and number two, Cohanes were the high priest, not the king of the Jews. There Ian, is no king of the Jews. There's no I would Cohen's. rather hear intern David talk about Judaism. <laughs> uh, are you trying to give me a lesson about... No, Ian, Cohen. there's no Cohen's. It's Cohen's. Are you trying to give me a lesson about where I I'm am. from? How no I grew Jew up. will ever bow to another Jew. There That's you go. So See? You are in the I travel and, and do, then you Not only are you misrepresenting research. Canada, you're misrepresenting the Jews. He misrepresents well. everything. Yes, yes. let's say... You guys are all against the Jews. There's no doubt. Let's say hi to Matt in Queensbury. Matt, you're on with Ian Halperin. Ian, I got to side with you. I think you're right that the listeners would probably rather sleep with you because uh, judging by your face, you really know how to work the balls. <laughs> you know how to work the balls, uh, yeah. Ian? Uh, I'll take that one. Yeah. I'll take it one. Right. <laughs> yeah. You like that one? Yeah. <laughs> you got to give it to him. Yeah, well. Holy mother of Christ. All right, why don't you guys make up? No, I love Anthony. I love him, but, you know, by the time yeah. we're done here, He's going to be up in Canada getting laid for real. Is, is, that, is that it? That's my goal Anthony. Is that my goal? Yeah, it, you know, the poem I gave him, it was from the heart. And I, I want somebody to put that on YouTube so everyone could Google that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm you, sure. That, that poem wasn't wonderful. written for Anthony. That poem was... I don't it, even it know was, what it was. It was a lump of shit. Could you take us out? Battlefield of... Earth rated 10,000. From Justin to Kelly, 25,000. Jesus, and these Anus were... McGillicuddy, <laughs> 87, seven. I just love saying that. And, then and finally... of course, his Hollywood Highness, 128,598 things are better than Dude. his Hollywood Highness. Dude, you know, as long as I'm playing, as long as I'm... I'm ranked. Some of the best t tennis players are ranked three, four hundred. You know, good, good three, point. four hundred is different than one hundred and twenty-eight thousand. Read the reviews, dude. You yeah, know, yeah. Who are they the written by? The good, point. Yeah. good point. Why, why yeah. Good point. Yeah. Good point. Just uh, look. All my reviews have an initial after them. I H. <laughs> <laughs> he likes horse. Why don't you sing us out with the the Canadian national anthem? I'll, I'll give you the old Russian answer. Because Why I can't he ever do so what we want? See the red no. flag. I, I was in Russia before the fucking Kurt wall fell. And <laughs> oh, really? It was one of the best trips I ever had. Here you go. The oh, really? They, they, let a, they let a Jew just walk around Soviet uh, Russia? Yeah, they, you know, I, I went there trying to get Sharansky out of there, but uh, I ended up having a motherfucking good time over there. I got a bit sidetracked. Thank God he finally got out. Uh, here I you swear go. I was with Jill Nikolinsky over there. Uh, uh. <laughs> the old Russian anthem. I'll give you a few bars of that. How's that? That's very Russian. Yeah, but just when very it's good. just when it's about to kick in, you you bail on us. Well, oh. you know. Let me tell you, in honor of Anthony, I'm going to go out with a hot Russian. <laughs> in your fucking, wait, wait, we got more your info coming in. Your movie has one review. Oh yeah. It only has one review. Why don't you post another one for me, dude? Zero you know, and zero of three people found it helpful. <laughs> in one review. Written okay. by you, I'm sure, I'm certain if it's positive, no, I don't write it's written by stuff. you. One thing I don't do is write, I, I never uh, do uh, uh, you, you Google yourself all day, man. I'm busy yeah, that's what I do. I'm busy getting laid while you're fucking on the computer Googling yourself. Yeah, of course that's you are. That's why your asshole hurts so bad. Stop it. Yeah, let's... When, you, when are you coming out of the closet, dude? Just be honest. Uh, be honest. All this uh, homoerotic talk, because, all the fu you know, the fake. I've been with this one, that one, the fucking yeah, shampoo no, model. Guy, you know something? You know, probably, the shampoo model would yeah. push you. That pushed it a little too far, because that chick was too hot to even fucking give you a a tenth glance. Oh yeah, maybe I got to bring her on your show when I come to this. Yeah, why don't you do? Why don't you do that? I will bring her on the show. I will. But right. you got to be a gentleman, dude. Because a gentleman. I, I, you know what? <laughs> you could watch me fuck her. While while you, uh, you sit there you intense, while you man. sit there wondering what it's like Dude, to actually please a woman. Condoms, all with the letters O and A on it, she's still not even touching you. Dude. Oh real is that is that right? Yeah. But you're just a prize, aren't you, Ian? <laughs> you're a prize with your notice me fucking glasses. Dude, I, I'm giving you a challenge. I'm Ian Hubbard. Look at me, notice me, notice right me. Now. You bring in your broad, I'll bring in mine, <laughs> and I'll do I'll let I'll video it right on YouTube and see who could go longer. 
and see um, which chick comes out with a big or small at the end of the session. Correct. Great. Great. Good. You put your money where your mouth is. Good idea. Do like you that. do in front of glory holes. I'll also throw them <laughs> right. The right. So exactly. Your ugly so what mouth you're mouth saying is, screen. what you're really saying here is, you want to watch me fuck a girl. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you are a fruit. You're a fucking Canadian fruit. What what kind of fruit do they have up there in Canada? I want to call you a Canadian fruit. Uh, a Canadian the, fruit, right? Canadian fruit, uh, Halperns. Yeah, the Halperns. <laughs> the Halperns. You, you're Let's fucking... Here he goes. I have every motherfucking Jew listening to this right now. Not one review they're on Rotten Tomatoes. You over, you're going to be all over the internet on these uh, anti-Semitic alert sites. <laughs> oh, is that it? I, I'm already on them, dummy. <laughs> Let's say hi to Cookie. Cookie. Have you ever banged a Jewish chick, Anthony? Yeah. Hi. Hi, Cookie. Hi, I'm I'm Cookie, <laughs> and, and I'm from Canada. I'm Jewish, and I'd rather sleep with Anthony. He's much cuter. Hey, uh, great, thank uh, you, Cookie. Uh, Ian. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Let's go to Kate in Cali. That would be California, Kate. Hey, boys. I just wanted to let Ian know that women listen to this program every morning, and he couldn't be more gay. Google yeah. it. See? Ah. Uh, hey, hey, let me See? tell you something. You have a nice voice, and uh, I'd mm -hmm. like to meet you sometime and prove to you whether or not I'm gay. Wow, you got some rap. Wow, that was... Wow, wow. I'd like to wow. prove to you I'm not gay. <laughs> That's a great rap. I'm going to use that one when I'm out one night. Hey, baby, I'm going to prove to you I'm not gay. Yeah, the whole world thinks I'm Boy, gay, that'll so... that'll work. I'm going to prove to you wow. that I'm not gay. How many drinks Jesus have been Ian. thrown in your face? Well, let me go to... And loads thrown on your back. Let me go to uh, another Kate. Kate in Massachusetts. Kate? Hi, guys. How Hi. are you? Hi, Kate. Kate. We love voice. Kate. She has a beautiful voice. Mm, hey, thank Kate, you. how you doing? Look, look, let me ask you a question, Kate. Here it goes. Yeah. Who has a sexier voice, me or Anthony? Anthony. Really? You really think Thank so? Thank you, Kate. Would you bang uh, Anthony? Um, if I had to choose between you and him, uh, hell yeah, him. Would you let him come on your face? See, look at these fans. Kate, you don't have to play party to his fucking whimsy. Uh, okay, with, with... I know, look, I know one-on-one. -on -one if it, And I think we should bring Kate to studio. If she sees us both in the studio, I'm betting everything I have including my saxophone, that she'd go for me. Let me tell you see, something. See, this, is, this is a fucking mistake, dude. It has nothing to really do about how you look. I was just going to say that yeah. to Ian. Like, Ian, do you understand a woman's, like, mindset? Okay, uh, because okay, because let, let me tell you something. How's about agreeing to this? It, Anthony well, takes you out on a date, and yeah. then His Highness takes you out on a date. And then, and then see what happens. Yeah, and course. report who of you'd course. rather date. All right. Uh, more importantly, we got Larry King on the line. Larry! Good morning, boys. Hi, Larry. Larry. King. Good morning, Ian. Question: How well, Larry, first of all, Larry, covering first of all, up your homosexuality. <laughs> <Go>. <laughs> Larry, what a mess! How much Viagra have you taken this morning? Yeah, oh, that was worth interrupting. It's always Larry like King about bit. Viagra and hard-ons yeah. and me, this. Let and... me go to Ahmad Ali. Now, Ahmad, Ahmad Ali um, is working the the uh, Winter Olympics in Vancouver. Oh, okay. Salam, Ahmad. Salam, Ahmad. Ahmad. How's it going? Hey, Ahmad. Salam. Hey, uh, Ian, why don't you talk about your perjury charges back when you were a student reporter in Montreal? Oh, shit. Oh, hey, wow. Dude, let me, let me tell you wow, look at what he that. dug up on Ian. <laughs> Oopsie. No, let, let me tell you something about that. A lot of people have brought that up. I won the Rolling Stone College Award for Investigative Journalism over that. Some guy tried to charge me for perjury, and let me clarify that. Last time I heard it, never even before went in front of a judge. I won every motherfucking award. The guy was fired because of my articles. So let's talk more about it, dude. What the more fuck have you got to say? I could charge you for anything, brother. Ooh. The fact is, you got to prove it in the court of law. It never well, even defensive. went in front of a fucking judge. He's so defensive. Ahmad? I'm, I'm, let's talk about it. Yeah, Ahmad? I, I, I don't know the details. I mean, I, I, you're much, much, much older than me, so uh, that goes beyond. <laughs> so that goes let's talk about it, Ahmad. Ahmad? But uh, what about when was your the last time you won an award for something you were charged for and you were acquitted of? It I'll never even went before a judge. You should never have to say I was acquitted of that. <laughs> right. Like even even that isn't good, uh, Ian. By the way, if you said never convicted, I was never <laughs> right. convicted. Like that, Dude, that's never this good. I was fired. He tried everything on me. And I won. Yeah, he won. Ian won. All Google, right. Google it. Google it. Go Just Google, Google it. it. Google, Google it. it. Google, Google it. Google it. Google it. it. Somewhat, Ahmad. Thirty years what about, ago. What about the uh, the Montreal Expos who uh, were uh, had an issue with you back in 1984? No, I had an issue with them. I actually <laughs> sued the Expos for a hundred thousand dollars. For what? 
um, for saying something false about me in the press, and it was that you were straight. <laughs> no, no Ian, Ian, Ian alleged that there was uh, racism in the clubhouse. There was yeah, what? There was no, racism. I didn't allege that. Several players did. And then I Wait, remember I didn't the hear. story. It was a big deal in Canada. What was but, it? You know, you, you, you just come up with some nuggets and you don't finish the sentence properly. Well, explain yourself. I mean, the Expos came out and said that you were that you were basically lying, right? In the freelance piece you wrote for the... You no, know, they said the player was lying and they said that I had a history of accusing... Uh, athletes of racism, and I never did. That was the first article I did about racism in sports, and I, I sued them. They didn't sue me; I sued them. No, they they no they they actually came out in public though, in reaction to your article, and said that it was just a racial goad, that it was uh, um, basically a red herring. No, that's not true. They said somebody else, a third party, goaded the player, not me into saying those remarks. His name was Bob White. You could phone Bob White. And I was just doing my job reporting, but when they came out with that, um, you know, I, I, I went after them. They never came after me, the Expos. Never. No, but you, you've been writing about racism. Yeah, look, when you're, when you're in the kitchen in the fire, you know, everyone denies it after. That's why I tape everything. I video everything. And I make them look like fools at the end of the day. You know, no, but, but nobody's you, ever questioned how I do my craft. My craft. Ian has been writing exclusively about accusing white people of being racist against blacks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, since you were in college, right? That's his Canadian white guilt that he has that, uh, for some reason, I don't know why, I, you know. Well, you're, you're saying there's no racism, sir, in uh, baseball? Why would I say, why would I say there's no racism? Of course there is. You don't think people should cover racism? There's racism in every aspect of life, sir, yes. So what 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 are you breaking open? What that, are you what are you breaking open? What what why great revelation? What great fucking There's revelation no are you exposing? That there's racism in this country or in Canada? What, what wow wow you're amazing. Where's your, when's your next book? The sky is blue. Oh, you're gonna love my next book, dude. It's coming out soon. Oh, what's it called? I'm not gonna tell you. Oh well. Okay. Well, why? Why? When you want to promote it, so it's not a hundred and yeah. fucking twenty-eight thousand. Let's see where that's Amazon. ranked. Hey, let's say hi to John Coltrane. Oh. John hey, Coltrane, train. Mm -hmm. What's up, Ian? I would like you to sing one of my favorite songs right now. My favorite things? Yes. Can you hum the melody? Where is your saxophone? Yeah, here. Um, I love my favorite things, actually. Train, you know, he took Charlie Parker to the next level. We know. Get on with the song, fucker. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, I'm not going to say Where's your saxophone? Any, dude. You said you'd be in the studio for the last three <laughs> fucking weeks. Where's your goddamn saxophone? We want to hear it. You want to hear me with my favorite things? Sing the fucking, hum the fucking melody. Dude, I will gladly come in. Here you go. Here you go. You'll gladly. You know, I'm the fucking melody. Already. Imitation is the biggest form of flattery. But let me tell you something. Let me let me get the train on here. All right. Let me get train. But it, the real deal. Where's your saxophone? <laughs> is it in California or in New Zealand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the great train. Yeah, but you're not doing the song. Well, you know, one thing I won't do, I won't, I won't try to step into John Coltrane's shoes. Yeah, this guy's playing his talk, man. It sounds like. That's Zamfir, master of the pan flute, you fuck. Yeah, what do you got? That's what we got. Yeah. Hey, it's got that. What do you got? I play the real deal. You, I, I you haven't played to, shit. I, I don't try to step in. The mouth the organ? Yeah, that's, that's what, what you play. <laughs> you I'm fruit. I'm not going to try to imitate John Tran. Why don't you John play Coltrane. something, then? Dude, just, I sang for you twice. I man. just blew you away on the fucking slide flute. Yeah, what do you got? You what do you got? What do you got? Jack, what do you got? What do you got? What do they got? Yeah. Chlamydia. And Ant just played something, you play something. I don't care if you pick up a goddamn spoon, you better play something. Dude, dude, I'm going to come in your studio. I'm oh, going to yeah, play. I'll bring Nicolini in. You're going to see who she That's it. Yeah, there <laughs> you go. Again. Oh, my <laughs> God. You one-trick pony fucker. <laughs> you really are but a one-trick pony. Man.
Well, who, do, who doesn't? And I are going to get to know each other. Who doesn't? Well. It better be soon before your fucking hiv kicks in. Yeah. Your and Anthony's going to be at the premiere of my next movie, introducing it. Oh I really? See that. Oh yeah, you're going to be invited, dude. Where's you that going to be? Uh, do you have to pull down? Right now, do you have to pull you down the work. screen yourself in your basement? And you're going to be and turn on a projector. So is that where your movie premiere is? It's and on. It's on eight millimeter. Here's me as a child in the pool. I want to sit and watch your slideshows. Wait, wait, let's get more women on the phone. Well, I'm, I'm tired of hearing you. You're a repellent for women. A repellent. Foghorn voice. Let, let's get some chicks How about, on the phone. We want to hear the saxophone. Enough already. Let's you know, hear something. Here. I'm, I'm on assignment right now. Assignment? I, I with my <laughs> Would you stop trying to sound important? I'm not trying to sound important. You are a I, I nobody. All right. All right, you want a woman. Let's go to Mindy in Arizona where it's not snowing. Oh. I am, yeah, we had a huge snowstorm this year. I am so glad that Anthony is finally ripping this guy apart. He is oh. such an ass and has been ever since he's been on. Half the time I turn him off because I just can't deal with it. Haven't you had it, it with him? I am so you're done with him. At night, you're hearing my voice, not your partner's. You, you know, you're putting my face to your partner. I know that. Okay, no, one, your voice is Have horrible. you ever fantasized about his highness? <laughs> no, your voice is... So let, let me ask you a question. Attitude sucks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you do for a living? It's none of your business, but... Oh, I, I want to know. Well, you're on the radio, dude. Let I'm me a, hear what I'm you a, do in life. I'm a senior financial analyst. Oh, yeah? For which firm? I'm not going to tell you that. Well, why not? There's no client confidentiality here? Like, <laughs> I'm me, not going to tell what's you your This is his you? rap, by the way. This yeah. is his fucking rap. Well, apparently the only woman he's ever fantasized about is Jill Michelini, because that's all he talks about. That's all he talks her, about. You have fantasized about her, too, haven't you? What? Uh, what? No. Do you like Jill? Do you I like don't women? know who she is. I'm rubber, your glue. Let me ask you a question. If there's one celeb you could sleep with, who would it be? Male or female? Uh, male. And who would it be? Um, it would be probably Brian Dennehy. Yeah, I like Jesus Dennehy. Jesus, Brian yeah, really. Dennehy. I like big barrel Even we could say Jesus. Wow. What the I like fuck? big barrel tested guys. Brian and if there's one chick you could sleep with, Too bad Steve's with, gay. Brian Dennehy I just went, with what? Why yeah, would you sleep with a woman? Just, You've never had no. a lesbian experience? <laughs> Joke, Steve. No. Joke, Jesus. No. You've never fantasized about a woman? No. Hmm. When was the last time you got laid? Would you? Why? Why, why are you Again, going into this line of questioning? I called to say what yeah. I asked you. It has nothing. Yeah, to do with yeah. It's just, just important. It's important. Like this is how you the, operate. The heart this of is the subject. This is your fucking the way you operate with chicks and girls and no women. Why doesn't get laid? Yeah, exactly. I could not yeah. imagine a girl really feeling this is nice. Yeah. Like this Dude. is a nice conversation that you're yeah. having. Yeah. Isn't it just terrible? There goes Mindy. Thank Dude, you, Mindy. I have the sexiest voice in radio. Everyone knows that. Uh, right. you, you know yeah. something? If you even did have the sexiest voice, the the words that that voice is is making are, are turning girls off well, why so we, quickly. Why don't we go to Dee Dee? Dee Dee, terrible. You here. don't have a good rap. You're you're horrible yeah. with these girls. Let's say hi to Dee Dee though. She's a woman. Dee Dee. Yeah, you want fuck? You want fuck? Anthony. Yes, sir. Anthony, I would sleep with you any time. This guy Hello. is so gay. <laughs> why is this Canadian boy on the radio? Exactly yeah, my why? sentiment. Where are you from, honey? I'm from New York. Oh, yeah? Let me ask you. you and do, I'm, I'm commuting you really to sleep work. with this guy, Anthony, tonight? Oh, and you would are you, a boy. Would you shag this guy tonight? Shag. Like, really? Anthony, I would. Mod. Oh, yeah, why? What's so, what's so attractive yeah, I would Anthony. About him? I listen to Anthony every morning. I love him. Love yeah, him. Why are you so attracted sure. to him? Why would you get between the sheets with him? Between I love him. His sheets. personality turns me on. Oh, yeah? Does his voice turn yeah, you on? Yeah, his voice turns me on. What you, about his face, his body? And you're gay. <laughs> yeah, you think I'm gay? <laughs> you're gay, I have no doubt. Oh, yeah? Yep. Let me tell you something. All right, here it is. I think you're pleasuring yourself to Anthony's voice. <laughs> oh, you think so? You well, jacking you it? Thing. Yeah. Jack it to me, Wait, you let, fruit. Let no, him know. Right now, I really am, but I'm not pleasuring myself to Anthony. I'll tell you one thing. Mm. All right. But I am in my birthday suit right now. <laughs> birthday yes. suit. I, I told you, Anthony. He is. He's I know. He's. Ugh. <laughs> He's in his birthday suit. Yeah, well, when was the last time you got laid? When was the last time someone came on your face? <laughs> is that your opener? Really? Is that what you open up with when you well, walk up you know, to a girl? And you must have I a hell of a truck. Someone came on your face. Not on my face, on my chest. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's got big ones, Ian. Yeah, you have, you have big ones? <laughs> yeah, she's got big ones. Are you, are you bigger than Paris Hilton? What? I think she, uh, Na- she's gone. Name dropping gone. again. He's just... <laughs> Yeah. So he's got to name drop the Hollywood elite. Uh, Give me one more chick on the phone. No, I'll, chick. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. Uh, look, I'm who, your the, guest. who the fuck are you? I'm your guest today. Where's Norton, by the way? Who are you? Norton. I forgot about that. Where's Norton? Norton is on a plane going to Cleveland to do a hilarious comedy show. Oh, this guy, uh, Jason, wants in. Jason in El Paso. Jason? El Paso. You know, the, the weight of what I had just fucking went away. While I've been on hold... The open anti fans are the best. I had to reload the Wikipedia page. Wiki it, wiki it. But it's got, uh, <laughs> it keeps changing. It's changed like three or four times while I've been on hold. It started off by referencing that Ian Hopper is a douchebag Canadian, which just got <laughs> removed. And they also just took off his preference for, I think, analingus and having balls across the face. But it, it just got edited right now, like I said, like the third or fourth time. Oh, Jesus. oh wow. Keep changing it, man. Google it. You know, Google, Google it. At least you. Google it. You know, you, you know the fact Google is, it. you're paying homage to me today. Wait, you're a regular correspondent for Court TV. By the way, it's not even called Court TV yeah, anymore. Well, I used to work it's for it's court true. TV. Oh uh, well, uh, how come it says a regular correspondent? Because I used to do a show called uh, I think it was Hollywood Crimes or something, and uh, they used to get me to do a lot of stuff for them. Oh, did they? Really? Yeah, of course. Blow jobs. <laughs> I, I don't know. Look, I, I'm not like you, dude. I don't spend my whole day with one hand on my cock, one hand on my keyboard, uh, you know, creating publicity about myself. I, I'm, I'm living life, dude. You're frustrated. You're on your fucking computer all day. You're probably Googling me all day. Yeah, that's And you're definitely. probably mm-hmm. doing all these posts. But that's cool. Well, uh, Ant's going to comment in a second, but we got, the, we got the great Charlie Parker on the line. Oh, Charlie. Wow. Hey, Birdman. Charlie. Fuck you, Ian. You blew off John Coltrane. Sing a fucking melody, you piece of shit. Cut. Hey, dude, dude. Let me tell you something. You That's put it. on a record, you piece of shit. You Sing know what? Melody. You're hoetry in motion, dude. And I respect <laughs> you. Hold your fuck you. It's freedom of speech. Sing a melody. Yeah, let me tell you. Let me tell you something. He dude. said, Where's "Sing a melody." Saxophone? That's you jacking off while you're hearing my voice. Where's your saxophone? Yeah, is your hand right now <laughs> Where, between no, your legs where? while you're hearing the greatest? Where's speech? your saxophone? My saxophone ain't with me, man. I'm, I'm on. I'm on assignment here. Where's? Uh, I, I'm going to bring in that horn. Where to the studio your... with my band, the His Highness and... band. Why? The His Highness band. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Ian, you don't have any Charlie Parker. I love Parker, man. You don't know. Him. You don't know the first thing all about him. Parker. Parker was a master of the blues. He took twelve progression blues chords and did what no one else could do with them. He was so melodic; every note Google counted. It. Now's the time is one of my favorite songs ever. Yeah, sing well, it. Yeah, play yeah. now's the time. Sing it. Hum it. Do something with it. But now's the time oh, to dude. hang up on this motherfucker. Dude, I'm on a different time zone than you, man. You know. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not about to sing for my supper here. Well, yeah. All right. I, gave, I gave you two answers, unless, dude. Unless the supper comes Anthony's out of a cock. Anthony's going to go to bed tonight playing yeah. the repeat, hearing me sing that no. Russian anthem, man. Well, He'll be yeah. all alone in his mm-hmm. bed. That's what it is. Having the most wildest fantasies, but that's cool. How about right, because that's, that's who I'm thinking about, we right, Ian end, Halperin. we got to end this on some kind of up note. So could you like give us a little more of the Canadian national anthem or the Russian uh, national anthem? Oh, man. Not just one stupid line. Dude, it's so early Sing us in out. the morning. Sing us yeah. out with something. Sing I'm us a out. Performer, dude. Sing us I'm out. Not like, Sing us out. All has been performers. They okay, just fuck it. In the morning. What's next? I perform at night to crowd. Okay, fuck it. What's next? Sing us out. Time is the essence, the essence of life. Time is the essence, the essence tonight. Amid visions of light. A long February night, hipster pants, magical mystery prints that dance. Go home and get your fucking shine box. Oh, my reigning one way queen, straight away side parted main. Wow. His Wikipedia is insane. <laughs> oh, it's just going crazy. People are just, just fucking with him. After it just says he's a regular correspondent for Court TV, then the rest of his bio is. Ian's sexual prefer- preference was questioned on the Opie and Anthony satellite radio show on February 25th, 2010, when Ian asked some male callers if they'd rather sleep with him instead of one of the hosts, Anthony. 
Ian is also known <laughs> for his fondness of analingus and the feeling of testicles across his nose. <laughs> he is the self-proclaimed king of the Jews and has personal ties to Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> he has been known to do things, but he can't tell you about them or prove anything because he's undercover. Norton. Norton. <laughs> when trying to impress women, he often <laughs> <laughs> he often uses such gems as, <laughs> I'll prove to you I'm not gay. <laughs> I'll prove to you I'm not gay. He is blowing me as I type this. <laughs> he also likes to talk to me. <laughs> it's he also likes to talk to men to see if they are jacking off. <laughs> he is a fucking coot. <laughs> he called it the Obi Anthony show on February 25th, 2010. <laughs> he left. <laughs> <laughs> he left. That's he great. let the host know he was calling new nude and masturbating <laughs> my, my fucking stomach hurts and masturbating oh. to the sound of show host <laughs> Anthony's voice uh, <laughs> Sam's actually crying that is fucking hysterical Sam's fucking crying oh, the listeners my fucking gut hurts from laughing so hard the fucking listeners and rule fucking you know because you know that people are going to copy and paste that and there's going to be our listeners for the rest of the day every time that gets deleted somebody's going to be adding it again oh, oh yeah Kurt Love oh, thanks geez. man funny he's blowing me as I type that is fucking funny <laughs> Oh, Oof. fuck. Oh. Oh. Fantastic. Oh, that's a good fucking laugh right there. Well, what a great uh, call from uh, <sighs> Ian Halperin. <laughs> uh, some update. His Highness. Oh, His um, Highness. <laughs> update to his Wikipedia. Ian was once seen jacking over Rock Hudson's grave. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, honest. Uh, he also has a voice that sounds like he is trying to talk with a stuffed up nose while performing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, another fun fact from his bio is yeah. he also allegedly had a threesome with traffic girl Joe <laughs> Nicolini and another guy. And another guy. <laughs> Was that alleged? Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. Uh, allegedly. It's allegedly. It's, but it's Wikipedia, so it's got to be yeah, true. Yeah. I would put it out of bio if he yeah, were coming in. Yeah, of course. In. Everyone goes to Wikipedia to find yeah. out stuff about people. More importantly, we found a girl that would actually fuck Brian Tenney. <laughs> I know. That's, I think, out of everything. Can we call Brian, shocking Can we things. call Brian's people immediately? Yeah. He'd probably be very excited to hear that. Oh my god, my fucking god. Uh, well, it actually fucking hurts. That guy just, I mean, I, I think we've all felt that building over the last couple of times he's called. <laughs> he made a movie called His Highness Hollywood. This movie is about a young bear named Steve C. from Yellowstone <laughs> and his erotic travels from Milan to Minsk, Minsk <laughs> in his Prius. <laughs> Along the way, he meets Erock, a kindred spirit who likes Steve, <laughs> loves to stuff his fat face. <laughs> he also meets Ted Sheckler, Ted's crappy game, <laughs> crappy gay movie emporium. It is revealed later on that Steve became gay due to being babysat by Uncle Paul. Uncle Paul isn't really an uncle, but rather a friend of Steve's father. In the end, Steve approaches the three wise men, Greg, Tony, and James, who repeatedly smack him around until they find he likes it. He eventually dies when he slips in a puddle of A's and falls, impaling himself on a giant black sex toy. <laughs> It, it is a suspected autobiographical story of Ian Alfred. <laughs> I swear to God, you, you gotta, uh, I think you gotta stop. It hurts. He was once <laughs> he was once found in a park with a saxophone. <laughs> 
<laughs> in his rectum. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, oh fucking hey, man! <laughs> it's just all on Ian Halpern's Wikipedia. Yes. Wow. Whew. Holy shit! I I know I need a breather. <laughs> Uh, Ian Halperin <laughs> was mostly known in Canada for <laughs> being the only man in Ontario <laughs> capable of fitting 21 cuts <laughs> into his mouth at the same time. The only one, huh? <laughs> They're during, pounding him. During his record-breaking try, Ian was also reportedly jerking off two black men at the same time. <laughs> He was later. <laughs> he was later rushed to the hospital for what was diagnosed as extreme ejaculate consumption. <laughs> his, his stomach was pumped for 17 hours, though doctors in, <laughs> though doctors admitted they only made a dent <laughs> in the reservoir. <laughs> Of semen <laughs> residing in Ian's stomach. Pull <laughs> on his Wikipedia, huh? Holy All shit. On Ian Halpern's Wikipedia. Oh, I, Sam is crying. Oh my god. You're oh, actually crying great. from reading that. Hard. That's just fucking funny. Uh, I suggest you read it. It's <sighs> well, really they keep is deleting funny. it, but it keeps going back. Yeah, yeah. Believe me, they'll, they will just keep fucking oh. with him. Ooh. Holy shit, can we break? Yeah, that was, uh... Thank God the computer just crashed, because well, otherwise I know, be we just would keep reading <laughs> it. It really crashed? Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened. We'll reboot we, we'll, it. We'll update after the break, though. Yeah. I gotta ask Sam if uh, you got this one on Ian Halperin's uh, Wikipedia page, which is being <laughs> just destroyed right now. So. Uh... He has been known to use Variety magazine to funnel gerbils into his asshole. <laughs> All right. No, no, That's a good one. I, just, I heard that somewhere. Yeah. I, I just refreshed it. And something I didn't know, which I should have prepped you guys with, is... Fuck. Yay pudding. Sorry. <laughs> I got I to gotta tweet. Yay pudding. Oh, First one of the morning, by the way, Ant. Oh. Ian is also yeah. known for introducing interracial anal sex into pornography by taking the first black cock in the ass oh. as he screams his idol's name, Anthony. <laughs> Google it. Google it. <laughs> Google it. Uh, oh. That was um. That was quite that was a some hour. call. Some call. You know when you have your. I, I've listened to a few shows oh. uh, on the radio throughout my um, years, mm -hmm. and. Um, Usually when the entertainment reporter, correspondent, whatever, guy, comes on the show, it I've never heard it go quite that way, <laughs> no. that it went with Ian. Usually they talk about some celebrities, you, you dish a little dirt, you sound intrigued, and then uh, you leave. Mm -hmm. It um, really turned into an hour of just bashing. Oh, is he the worst... That was unbelievable. Oh, actually. he's such a liar. But they're also now. Uh, <laughs> I gotta. I gotta say this. I still love him. <laughs> I still. Love, I'm still in. I, I swear, I'm still in. Oh, God, I, I'm still oh, in. Oh, I hate him. <laughs> there are two, yes, new, oh. two new reviews uh, oh. on Amazon for his movie. Oh, wow, good. what a coincidence! Because for you, how long? When was like the well, last can review? We do, can we do him a favor and buy him a copy? I gotta play clips of this fucking movie on the show. We will get a I copy of it. We will immediately though. Um, the Overnight last it. the last comment was left on December twenty eighth, two thousand nine. Okay, two have been left so far this morning. Wow, one from Kyle in Albany with the subject utter garbage. <laughs> one star. I watched this movie on recommendation from a friend. The man just spills out junk. I feel terrible for the honest celebrities that were given the chance to star in this movie. If it was actually a popular movie, it would probably ruin their careers, save your time and money, and avoid this like the plague. Uh, another review, uh, the subject is very disgusted, and it is by Amazon user Steve C. <laughs> who says, this movie, quote-unquote, 
was just a 60-minute webcam video <laughs> of Ian Halperin touching himself to, pict <laughs> to pictures of Opie and Anthony's show host, Anthony Cumia. Why would Amazon sell this vile garbage? Oh, oh God. Damn, was that good? No, they, the, the, go ahead and mark that, that was helpful. Yes, that was helpful. <laughs> yeah. Mark them as helpful. Yes. Thank you. They are, the listeners are great. They're the best. They're just fucking brutal. So, uh, uh, what else you got on that, Ahmad? Yeah, that's about it on Andrew Koenig. But next time you have Ian Alperin on, yeah. make sure you ask him about his time as a homeless man. A homeless man? He was homeless. He uh, he used to be a busker in Canada. That's what he, no, That's where his music talent came from. He was a famous busker at the Montreal subway station. I don't know what a busker is. A uh, guy who plays music at a at a subway. No, I guess I figured that much out, but I never <laughs> heard the word before. I never either. Yeah. What's the word? Busker. Buster. Busker with a K. Busker. Busker. I've never heard of that before. That's a Canadian term, I guess. Sounds like a yeah. curling term. All right, well, you got to make sure that the, the the stone gets into the busker. Because for the yeah. people for the people out there that thought yesterday's show was the end of Ian Halpern, oh man, were you mistaken? Oh no, no, no. Now I'm I'm more in than ever before. There I've will got, be I've, more. I've got a couple fucking pages. battles with that cunt. <laughs> I've got a couple pages of research on the guy I can send you. Oh, oh or, really? or are you calling yourself? Because you were great when you took him on yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely.